Hey, GG, I'm here with the 2020 GG Games Champion, Alyssa Brennan. And she's here to introduce herself, and we're going to start this off by getting to know her a little bit. So, Alyssa, will you address our wonderful audience? Absolutely. Hi, guys. Um, I'm so excited. I am Lisa Brunin. I am the owner of Engaging Techniques, which is a professional development company. I serve as teachers all over. And with this pandemic, man, business is booming. <laughs> That's great. That's great to hear. And, and, and now they know what you are professionally, just, just a person who just teaches a lot of wonderful people some new tips, tricks, and ways to apply it in the classroom. But I think they want to get to know you a little bit better on the personal side. So I've got 30 seconds here set up right on my phone, and I'm going to ask you three questions. You only have 30 seconds, so make them short and sweet and answer the question fully. So let's get started. What kid movie scared you as, as, as a young girl? What scared me? Oh, man, being alone. Um, I was terrified to be home alone. I lived on a farm and there was nobody in sight for like a mile on each side. So anytime my parents would leave and I'd hear a noise, I'd get scared. So being alone. So basically any movie scared you? Where oh, I don't do scary movies. Mm -mm. Nope, not my thing. <laughs> okay, so here going on with the whole fictional character thing. What fictional character do you identify with the most and why? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know. Somebody is super energetic. Somebody, I don't know, fill in the blank. I can't think of one right now. I wish I had time to prepare and research. Oh, uh, no, this is all on the cusp. Okay, so next question. What two items would you take with you if you got shipwrecked on a deserted island where all your food and water needs were taken care of? Oh, my gosh. Well, so my Wi-Fi hotspot <laughs> and then something to be able to communicate, I think. With my area of expertise, I think those are my survival mode. I'd figure out food and water and all that stuff. I've seen enough Survivor shows. All right. So you know our champion just 30 seconds longer than you did before. We gave her a little bit more time because I kind of put this on her last minute. But anyway, uh, some real talk here with the GEG Games. What was it like participating in the GEG Games? It was awesome. Like, it's an awesome idea because I think in this day and age, especially with teachers having so much on them, I think having these short videos that really get to the point, give them something to learn that's maybe new or that they forgot um, was really, really fun. And to participate was awesome, but it was also great to see other colleagues share different ideas that they use because I picked up some stuff from them, just like a couple of them said they didn't know my tip or trick, which was really awesome. Yeah, and you went up against some stiff competition. We had some fun videos. We had some really great tips and tricks that I didn't even know of. And and then just a lot of variety, I would say. And um, great stuff for your designers, your creators, your practicals, and just some hidden stuff that you never knew. So um, yeah, th again, if I, I can't thank all of you enough. But that was great that you um, were able to participate. And you had mentioned earlier that you think these shorter spurts of learning are really good for educators. Can you expand upon that a little bit? Absolutely. So there's been so many YouTube videos that I like the title and I, I'm excited about kind of learning about it, but then they're 10 minute videos, right? So I'm, I'm doing either a scrub trying to find that point or I'm speeding up the video by using the speed feature, just trying to watch it real quick and grab that piece. But like two minutes or less, I can sit there and kind of absorb. And I know that limits people to get to the point. So I love that. They're little short things and it gives your mind a break to kind of process and then go try and apply and then come back and learn something new. Oh yeah, for sure. And if it's a quality short two minute video, you can rewatch it and you can pause it, play it. And, and it's not too cumbersome because it isn't 10 minutes long. You don't have to spend a lot of time scrubbing through it and searching for the right moment. Um, excellent. So uh, thanks for your thoughts on that. And then one final thing you could leave our audience. What's one piece of advice you would give educators uh, during this time? <laughs> you mean this, this unique time in education? Um, I love uh, that this is a great time, even though we're forced to a little bit, um, I've seen so many teachers grow because they're reaching out for help or resources or learning and realizing, hey, I have to, but this is actually helping me as an educator to grow. So my biggest piece of advice is make connections, whether it's on Twitter or you go to a virtual workshop or some sort of conference that's had to turn virtual not only trying to learn new things but make new connections find people so when you get in a pickle or you're stuck you have people to reach out to because my plc on twitter is a godsend i can get um, lots and lots of help and lots of advice from some great people on there 
Yeah, awesome. Definitely agree with everything you said. That was a great piece of advice. And uh, thanks for your time. If you've not followed Lissa on Twitter, her handle is right in the description of the video and the rest of our competitors as well as their videos. So thanks for joining us today. And thanks everyone for watching the GG Games this year. It's the first time we did it. We have the inaugural champion right here and she's gonna get some Google swag and whatever else we can send her. So yeah, all right. Um, thanks for joining us again.